got it. You know, I got to get it. I got to get this cash. I got to get this money. I got to get this money. I got to get this cash. I got to get this money. I got to get this money. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Morning, truck buddies. It's We're back at it. Back at it. So it's Tuesday morning, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock on the dot. Got to get back after it, man. Some of us was more fortunate than others, being able to stay at home all weekend. Some of us had to leave out early. But... That decision always falls on you, the driver, you know? If you know you got home Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday last week, and you got a delivery for Tuesday, you can't complain about you gotta leave Monday if you gotta drive over 600 miles. You got all your off time on the front end, all right? Now, I wish I could have delivered Thursday because I'll still be in the bed right now waiting on the dispatch, probably. All right. But I needed to get the truck wash. And after I got the truck wash, I ran into a whole bunch of traffic. So I've been cutting it kind of close. Uh, trying to get unloaded Thursday, so I didn't even worry about it. I just, but I, said, I got to pass the house, so I came home. But I've been on both sides of the spectrum. All right. There's times where I had to leave early. There's times I had to celebrate holidays early. Or celebrate holidays after the fact. That just goes with the job that we have. It, it sucks, yeah. But when you work for somebody else, hey, it is what it is, man. Their truck, their rules. All right? So I'm speaking from experience. I'm not just feeding y'all some crock of junk. I've been on both sides of the spectrum. Having to deliver early or staying out, you know, during the holidays. I think I stayed out a uh, year before last. That's when my wife was still riding with me, so... And we kind of, you know, it's just one of them things, man. But you can't get that time back. So that's why I pretty much I, I pretty much don't stay out anymore because, you know, life's too short. You know, you, you know, always chasing the buck. You know, things happen. You know, things tend to happen. You just don't want to live with no regrets. That's why I say when you're home, think about home and don't think about the road. It's just, just that simple. Or try to make it that simple anyway. If I got a clean truck, clean trailer, uh, there's a 50-50 chance I'll get loaded out of certainty today. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, hopefully everybody had an uneventful holiday. Hopefully everybody enjoyed their time off. I appreciate all my truck buddies for subscribing, tuning in. All right, I appreciate every last one of you. You know, 6,692 or something like that subscribers and counting. I appreciate every last one of y'all. All right. So today should be an interesting day. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a long line to get unloaded today but since it came after the holidays. I could be wrong, but I'm already meant to prepare to have to wait to get unloaded. And it just it goes to the territory. It might kind of work out because you got to think about all the drivers that didn't get dispatched on a load uh, Thursday. So they're scrambling around to get those drivers first thing in the morning and get them dispatched on something. So hopefully I can make it through all the trash and get something pretty decent. But I'm already starting the week off pretty decent. Kind of behind, not really. So, we're gonna make the best of it. Got about 60 miles of certainty down there in Palaka. Uh, get this stuff off and get on to the next one. We'll see you on the next one, truck buddies. All right, you gotta love it. So, one of the things that didn't even think about, didn't even cross my mind is not get unloaded today. <laughs> so I get there and uh, so it was about 7.30 or so. So I'm like, I'm looking around, I'm like I see no trucks, no no trucks to get unloaded. So I was like, well, it is the first thing in the morning. Maybe I'm one of the first ones here. Maybe they already sent somebody back. So it was like, uh, like morning, you know, say, well, your morning's not going good. They're not receiving today. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. So later was like, um, yeah, about 10 miles into town, there's a, there's a Lowe's. Uh, you, you can stay there for the night. I said, lady, <laughs> I stay in Jacksonville. I'm going home. She's like, uh, okay. <laughs> See you tomorrow. I said, yeah. So uh, I was one of 
three trucks because there was somebody that showed up before me. They got turned around. And on the way back, uh, I seen two guys. I was like, hey, hey, they, they're not taking paper today. So they're like, uh, they're not taking paper? No. So let uh, your fleet manager know they're gonna reschedule you for tomorrow. So now, only thing I could have done different last week was not get a truck wash and drive straight there to be there before one o'clock to get unloaded, you know, but that's neither here nor there. You know, sometimes just things work out how it's supposed to work out. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, like I said, could I wait to get the truck wash? Uh, yeah, kind of, but then this week have been one of them things like, hey, you really need to watch the truck. You need to watch the truck. You need to watch the truck type of thing. And you'll be, of course, be trying to work that, get work to get that in. But I'm one of many drivers that have are, are, will be unable to deliver today. They're going to show up to their de delivery appointment, and ain't nobody there. It happened to my buddy. We're on the same fleet. He said he got there, and you know, it was kind of dark, about you know six six thirty. He said, you no, know, he got there. You know, he's looking around. He said about seven o'clock. It's still kind of dark, but he, you know, he started, you know, trying to get some ideas. So he walked up to the door, or walked up to the area where he's going to. Uh, he said he seen a sign on the door. He flashed his light. It says closed. Uh, you know. Friday and Monday and Tuesday, so and that, that's just that's just that's just trucking, man. You know that's just trucking, so it's just it's nothing you can do about it. You know, so what I'm going to try to do is one, probably take me a nap, and two, uh, I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna try to cram and see if I can take my damn uh, my get my tanker endorsement. That's all I need to move on to bigger and better things. I've got my hazmat. But I got to get my tanker endorsement. So I'm going to try to cram uh, cram a little bit. Now, if you want to study for all your tests, it's CDL Prep. It's an app. It's a free app. It's got all the tests. Like I always say, keep taking a test you know, a good 8 to 10 times until you get a solid score that you make sure you take all versions of the test and you should pass in theory. So if I could do that, that's one less thing to worry about when I, you know, if I'm looking for something else, you know, that need a, a tanker's endorsement. So, I want to try to do that. I'm going to wait for my wife to come pick me up. She on, she works right down the way, so uh, she'll come get me on when she goes on her lunch break. But, yeah, man, I'm at the house. Or I will be at the house. I just parked. Like I said, it's 9 o'clock, man. 9 o'clock. Like I said, I don't know what to do with myself, but this time you gotta you know take advantage of your opportunities. Like I said, if I can just I gotta study and try to see if I can get that exam knocked out and get my license updated, and uh, it'll be a win today. I mean, it'll, it's, it's lost revenue, but it'll be a win uh, getting my endorsement and get my up, my license updated. So, all right, truck buddies, uh, enjoy the rest of your time off. You if you still don't have a delivery till tomorrow, or if you're on the road, stay safe on the road. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, change of plans. Uh, the DMV ain't open today, so guess what? I'm gonna sit around and do nothing today. My wife will be off work around about three, four o'clock, so I've got quiet time for a, a day. I can actually do absolutely nothing. Well, I did that this past four days, but what's one more day? So we'll see you tomorrow, truck buddies. Airborne Trucker signing off.